In this reading, it appears that Andrew already knew about the coming Messiah because he was, in fact, a follower of John the Baptist. John the Baptist was the herald of Jesus. He was the herald of the people learning about the coming of Christ. I hadn't realized before this Advent that many believed that John the Baptist was the long-awaited return of Elijah. I learned something else uh, this Advent. You know, I guess we could learn something every day, or should. I learned that John the Baptist probably belonged to the community of Essenes, a strict group of Jews who lived in the desert. Many writings from this community have been found recently, and people are really taking a closer look at them. The passage takes place immediately after Jesus was baptized in the River Jordan by John. It was here that the Holy Spirit came and rested on Jesus, and it was here where Jesus started to assemble his apostles. This passage makes me appreciate John the Baptist for having to step back and allow many of his followers to follow Jesus now. His mission at this point was almost finished. It must have made him, or he already was, a very humble man to be able to allow this. That's how I think about John. A question I frequently ask myself is, would I have followed Jesus? There were many charlatans at that time, many people that were uh, purported to be magicians and said to be healing. They were out there at that time too. Would I have been able to discern the truth? It says Andrew began following Jesus after John said, there is the Lamb of God. Did they understand the profound truth of Christ being the Paschal Lamb, the sacrifice for our sins, and that we might uh, enter heaven and be with the Messiah? Did they understand all that? Probably not at that point. Andrew, who was the brother of Simon Peter, convinced Simon Peter to meet with Jesus, saying, he and John, who was the evangelist, have found the Messiah. Jesus, knowing that Simon would follow at this time, changed his name to Cephas, which means rock. This passage gives me hope that I will be able to discern the truth when confronted with problems. Hope that the Lord will keep forgiving me and strengthening me as he did Peter. The question posed in the reading, what are you looking for? First of all, I wondered if it was a typo. I thought it should say, who are you looking for? And then I realized it could be asking us, what do we want from Jesus?